walking to the ferry feels like I could breathe again. Sometimes I could spend three, four months away and then when I reach that point that I'm like in the ferry and I can see this beautiful island, I go, I've arrived, you know. My name is Bruna Kajia, I'm 25 years old and I'm a professional kiteboarder. name is quite complicated because it's Japanese. They never spell it right since it's a J-I-Y. My family is quite a funny mixture. My dad's family is from Japan. They came by ship well, after the World War, the Second World War. And uh, my mom's family is a bit Italian. She's like blonde with blue eyes and then there's my dad. So it's a funny mix. I have a younger sister, her name is Luna. We're two years apart and um, she's my best friend. My family is very, very close together. We grew up having dinner every day, doing everything, going to the beach. When I think of home, I can't help to think of Ilabella. This is my home. Even though I never come here, like throughout a whole year, maybe I spend a month and a half if I, at all of the occasions I come. But still, I think like, Home is where your heart is, and this is where it is. This is where I grew up, where my family is. And every time I think of here, is that warm feeling, or when you have a hard day and you're like, I wish I was home, there's that specific image in your mind. I, I always had a, quite a hard time describing myself. I think basically I'm a very mellow person, very chill, very calm. loud places or parties or busy environments. I think the image that I have from me, like myself, is quite different than what people see. I'm not a person with like big events, big plans. I like to go home and just relax and, and be in a very quiet, calm environment. Life changes quite a lot depending where I am. It, it changes completely, really. If I'm at home, I train just out of the water, and that's where I get the base for my whole year. And that's the place where I go over my limits. My trainer knows how far I can go, and he pushes me. And in the end, I build up my confidence and my self-esteem for the competition. I started kite surfing when I was 15. I was at school and I could see from my classroom window the beach right in front and I saw all of those colorful kites and people riding. One day my friend just said, why, why don't you give it a try, I'm gonna teach you. And then he threw me out of the water. It was a, a day with a, like a really strong wind, so like a squall was coming through, raining, quite strong. I went for like miles and miles down downwind and on the way back I was cold, I was wet, no one wanted to like give me a ride because I was soaking wet. I got back and my friend was like, are you a ride? You know, are you fine? I'm so sorry, I didn't know it was so strong and I was like, I just loved it. Being on the road these days for me represents my life and who I am and I think that's the hardest part of my life. I, I love what I do and I love kite surfing but that's so hard for me since I've started to now. I think um, to to departure, to to go away, represents pain for me. It's a, it's the part that I suffer the most in my life. It's uh, every time I leave, I cry. I understand that without the departure, that wouldn't it wouldn't exist arriving or seeing someone again and rejoining, which I think when you rejoin is such a beautiful thing and such a strong emotion. You appreciate more the time you have with the people you love. You count every minute and you know that that time is precious. 
Sometimes you see people that live together for so long and they don't even acknowledge someone that's right next to them. And, and I think I'm very fortunate to be able to see that and appreciate it. Yeah.